What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back in with another video and today you guys we're gonna see if you can weigh Paradox Rift packs. Let's go! What is going on Hilltop TCG family? That's right, the most controversial one. Everybody hates it or loves it, but people ask me, and I gotta do it. I got tons of messages, people asking me if we can weigh Paradox Rift to see it if it is weighable. So you know what, I gotta listen to the community. I gotta do it. This isn't a how-to video, guys. This is just an informative video. So let's get on to the play mat, and we're not looking at prices or anything like that today. We're just seeing if, if you can weigh them. So we got the booster box, we got a gram scale, we got sticky notes and a, a pen. I mean, so I'm gonna write out all the weights here. We're gonna see if you can in fact weigh Paradox Rift. Let's get this box open. I'm gonna get it all weighed out, all the prices, not prices, but weights ready to go for you. All right, you guys, we got all the packs open and weighed. These are all in grams. Um, let's talk about one thing that's concerning. So there's one pack that's really heavy, 22.76 grams. There's a very tight spread right here, but basically between 22.50 and 22.59. And I put them into two piles. That's where the bulk of them are here. There's two packs right here for 22.60 and then three kind of lighter packs that are sub um, 22.50. So um, a lot of packs right here, one pack out here. Um, I'm interested. We're going to start out on the lighter side here and just work our way to this pack because I I have a little bit of a concern and I hope I hope it's not that it's a heavy pack but guys before I get into this first one hey don't forget to like this video smash that subscribe button click the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video all that goes such a long way and means a bunch you guys and plus we're like 50 less than 50 people away from 20,000 subscribers so be that person to get us there but all right let's start with the lighter pack here why do I have a concern here well do you guys have watched any of the videos or anything like that? Um, Danny Phantom confirmed it as well. Like I made a video actually about it. Um, but there are no more double banger packs. There are no packs that have a reverse and a main slot um, hit. So that right there means that there can't be a double banger pack. Like that's not just a, a base EX and like an IR, right? There that we've opened up thousands of packs, have not seen one since. That tells us right there, no double banger packs. Um, so why else would it be heavy? Um, Scarlet and Violet, hey, there's a Norman in one of the lighter packs. Um, Scarlet and Violet, actually, they've done really well. With Paldea, Scarlet and Violet base, Obsidian Flames, you couldn't, you couldn't weigh those. You couldn't, you couldn't weigh them. Um, there was definitely nothing definitive, right? So they've, they've done good. So we got the Yvelt doll IR right there. Let's go. They've done good, um, until maybe now, who knows? We'll see. Maybe it's just a, a big outlier. I mean, as soon as we get one of the, because you're guaranteed basically one, one SIR in each booster box, right? An SIR or a gold. Sometimes just only a gold in a booster box. So right there means that if we hit an SIR or a gold in the basically the vast majority of the packs that are right here, I mean, there's literally, literally 30 packs in between these two piles. So. That will be the deciding factor, is if that pack to my right holds, in fact, like a full art or better, one of the one of the good cards, right? It's it's nice to see that at least like we're getting hits out of this, right? It's only one pack. It's not a sick a stack of twelve packs, right? Because we know that there's probably around twelve hits on average out of a Paradox Rift uh, booster box. So, I mean, right there. That's refreshing that there's just not one big heavy stack. Snow Runt going in this stack. But we'll see. Only one way to find out, guys. And we're ripping packs to do it. Super fun. Um, again, I'm not teaching you guys how to weigh on this video. I'm just trying to inform you. Because that would be concerning if in that heavier pack, the, the, the best card was in that heavier pack. Um, that means you really need to be careful and informed of where you buy your packs from because people could in fact be shady and that's what i want to that's what i want to show you guys today is you know just making you an aware informed consumer that's my point for you guys right there in this video and all these kind of pack weighing i guess you could say controversial videos so i mean we got four hits so far basically a third of the way through the box 
Um, we got two of the IRs, probably only gonna see maybe one more IR, which is kind of, kind of surprising. I mean, a lot of these hits have come out of the, uh, the lower weighted packs, because we haven't even seen, we haven't seen a base level EX in this box either. Have not seen a base level EX. We've seen the Terra, and another Terra Hooper right there, but still no base level EX is right there. The Frost Last is a Terra, and then the Hoopa. So that's that's interesting to look at there as well. We've got three packs left on the second lightest pile. Still no full arts. No full arts. No uh no anything else out of these packs. So are the full arts on the heavier end. I mean, the spread is so teeny on this middle section, right? Like it's literally within, a. Hey, that's a good little reverse to get. It's literally within like a 10th of a gram in this whole section where 30 of the packs were hiding. So right there on that kind of lighter section, we got four hits. We have five total right now. So we should still see five, five to seven hits, five to seven hits out of um, the rest of these packs. So we shall see here where they're coming from. Could you imagine if they're all right there? <laughs> I don't know what I would do because they've done so good. They've done so good on the last few sets that, I mean, even they don't even care about code cards anymore. That's one, that's the one reason why I started doing this was there was the double banger packs and stuff. I think with one of the sets, like the heavier packs, yeah, they had like a base level EX and some type of IR, but all the other, like the good pack hits were in just randomly selected sections of a booster box. So, I mean, all the code cards are the black border, all of it, they don't care about the weight anymore. I think they did that because they're doing two reverses, right? That helps deter pack lane when you have two reverses and a hollow in every single booster box. So there's the reverse there, reverse there and then the rare which is also shiny not a booster box but booster pack then that deters away from like the weighing because the weight difference hey that's a great card right there hey there's our first ex the weight difference between this and a reverse isn't that big of a difference right not enough to make a dramatic change so right there i mean our first ex hit so i'm safely assuming we're probably going to get two or three more exs Hey, there's an Iron Valiant Full Art. That is a great, a great card to hit. Love to see an Iron Valiant Full Art. So we got probably five, five packs or so left. Maybe six packs left on this stack. Seen two hits. Um, I mean, with this weight range being so tight, I mean, you could probably see any of these hits in any of these two sections, but it's pretty, pretty interesting. Hey, there's a Blitzel that the EX, the base level EX, hasn't came until now. We've seen some of those Terras, but nothing else. So I don't think we should see any more IRs. My guess is the IRs have been hit. There's another base level EX, very interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, my mind's spinning right now, and we still haven't seen a, a SIR, so, or a gold card. Um, that's where my concern lies. In the lighter packs, we did have one full art. Um, I would say, and we got the Iron Valiant full art in this stack. So we've seen probably our two full arts. Maybe potentially we can get one more. Um, but my, I, yeah, there's literally three packs left, guys. There are three packs left and no, <sighs> no SIR to show for it. So right here, guys, yikes. So we'll put our Iron Valley up front. We have three packs left, three packs left and no SIR. So the three heaviest, the three heaviest packs, I mean, and this one is dramatically heavier than any of these other ones. This is basically within 0 0.05 grams of these other ones. So we're gonna see anything. We got a hit, it's just a base level EX. We'd be fine if people could weigh out those. I mean, that means nothing right there for most people go ahead and take all those base level EXs so if this pack has the SIR then there's a little bit of hope for Paradox oh my gosh there's a Cofagrigus base EX guys there's one pack left 
and we haven't had an SIR. So either we're having a zero SIR box or the SIR is in fact in the heaviest pack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's just get right to it. Oh my gosh, it's right there. In the heaviest pack. It is the Galissapod SIR in the heaviest pack with an ancient boost shake reverse. Wow. So not a crazy SIR, but the SIR in fact in the heaviest pack. What is going on, guys? You can freaking weigh out the SIRs. That's not like a, a flub up. That is dramatically heavier. That is so concerning, guys. Oh my gosh. I think I have sleep packs. Should we do sleep packs in this video? I'm going to go get some sleep packs. All right, guys. I am back. I had some sleep packs lying around the house. So I grabbed 36 sleep packs, guys. I am incredibly concerned right now. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna weigh out all these sleep packs. I will take the, the covers off these so it doesn't take up so much of the screen, but I'm gonna weigh. I'm gonna weigh these and we're gonna see if the heavier packs do have those SIRs, guys. Oh my gosh, let's check it out. All right, you guys, I am back. So there's there's the kind of a similar situation here. We have one pack over here, 22.58, but the spread is very, very close, right? So this is 22.55 max. So this one's just like a slightly heavier, not as dramatic as the booster box, again, there's no set ratio in these sleep packs, guys. I could have zero SIRs, I could have five SIRs. So we're gonna see here. One kind of outlier is there's 22 packs in this small range right here. Um, and very low amounts of packs in the other range. And again, it's basically, we're talking, we're, we're basically a tenth, a tenth of a gram here in between all of these. So very, very tight spreads on the gram scale but again it's we're not we're there's no definitive amount of hits in this one right we could expect around 12 hits out of that booster box we may have a ton we may not we may have none right but i would safely assume how massive this stack here is 22 packs here that we're going to probably see our vast majority of hits in this stack hopefully if not and all the hits are hiding in these heavier sections and we do have a definite problem to ad address with Paradox Rift. Because right there, I mean, guys, I, this is a much longer video than I was expecting it to be. Um, sleep packs and a booster pack weighing right now. And I mean, I'd have to do another booster box. But I mean, that's pretty definitive proof that it was basically two grams heavier than all the other packs. And it had the SIR in it. So... What does that tell us, guys? That tells us that you need to be very, very aware as a customer where you are buying your packs of Paradox Rift from, guys. You got to trust online resellers, your local card shop, because um, if, yeah, you can weigh out those SARs, then every booster box that is open, right, you might have to assume if you don't trust that seller Skeldridge Terra that they could have taken that SIR out guys that is pretty pretty crazy to Think about because that this wasn't at all the case in um, The other uh, the other pal the other Scarlet and Violet sets They're definitely I think if I remember right the the Obsidian Flames like the heavier packs Had like a double banger pack, but it wasn't ever it like the SIR the or the box hit right like so maybe they didn't factor that in here. They didn't. They knew they took away double banger packs, but then the weight doesn't offset. I don't know, and I'm sure they've already printed stuff since then. I don't think I've. I don't think I've done a weighing video for 151. Maybe we'll need to test that out for 151 to see if you can weigh those packs. But right there, I mean, guys, you can get double banger packs in 151 though. So I would assume it might be something similar. Definitely, definitely few and far between though. I've right, got a bomber deer, so we finally are getting a hit. So we're basically the majority of, of the way through the stack. I mean, we probably still have 10 or so packs left, with really two packs, two hits to show for us. And by the end, there we go. We got that Sandy Shock EX. By the end of this, we're going to be way more than halfway done with this sleeved booster box pack rip. We would have, we're going to have 11, we'll have 12 packs left. So we'll basically have a third 
a third of the booster box left after these packs in this stack right here. Again, these are sleeve packs, so there's no confirmed set ratio to sleeve packs. It's just all about that randomness and how I grabbed the packs out of the case, right? That's that's the randomness to this. I could have I could have grabbed a bunch of packs that had a ton of good hits, or I could have grabbed none of them, right? So there's a full art, so that's kind of refreshing to see. At least at least a full art armorage coming out of this. Um, we have probably five or six packs left. And then we're gonna get on to the somewhat heavier ones. And again, reminder, like the the spread, I'm doing this basically every every uh, tenth of a gram or every tenth hundred thousandths, every hundredth of a gram, I am switching it up, right? So every every four one hundredths of a gram, I'm changing it. That's I mean that's a very a very minute tight spread and distribution. Wow, we're getting all the hits right now. Serena coming in towards the end. We got a couple Serenas. We got a lot of Terras. We got a full art. So this is good to see all the hits kind of come in here, which means hopefully we're not seeing a ton. Altier EX. Wow, we're just we just can't stop now at this point. Hopefully we see not a ton of hits over here, guys. I mean, I I mean that's obviously sucks for me opening these packs, but I'm not doing it, you know, for anything other than making sure you guys are informed, right? So Definitely got to be sus on a booster box, an open booster box, guys. Loose packs, even just in general. Like, that's super crazy, super concerning that we kind of keep seeing this. And no wonder, no wonder people were asking me to do this, right? That's crazy sauce. All right, so right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits out of 22 packs, which is a pretty, pretty solid spread right there. Nothing crazy, though. A bunch of basically base level EXs. We did get one full art. So we'll see what kind of ratio. Hoopa Terra in the somewhat heavier pack. Again, this is literally 0.04, so one hundredths, point four one hundredths of a difference between these two stacks. So nothing too crazy here, but Roaring Moon, baby, let's go. Still a $10 card. Love to see it. Seeing a ton of hits out of this this 0.4 section, when we get over to the 0.5s, I couldn't see us getting a ton more hits. Like, I mean, unless I grabbed a fantastic section of sleeved, there's, I mean, there's a lot of hits here. Not a lot of full arts and stuff, but I would assume that ratio should hold pretty strong. Ooh, just one thing I noticed, there's been no IRs. No IRs whatsoever, you guys, that. Huh, so these are very different kind of been different so far from a booster box these obviously were printed from a different location like the weights if you could tell were basically a tenth of a gram less than the booster box packs you can definitely feel how thin these are these packs are much thinner than what were in the booster box packs they open up much easier so the packs are thinner but it's concerning that we haven't seen a single ir guys so we have one two three four five packs left not a single ir so if they're the irs are hiding in this section which we're just getting hosed and i grabbed a bunch of packs that didn't have irs crazy sauce right now still no ir this over 0.5 section has and nothing not us i mean that's that's good news because there's so many packs in that 22 um 22 packs hey, there's an ir right there in that lighter section Got an IR, Gargle Ankle. Looks like he's giving the world the bird. All right, two packs left in this stack. And nothing there, interesting. So again, maybe I didn't grab any SIR sleeves in the sleeves, or it is in fact hiding over there, which would suck. Definitely kind of disappointing that on the IR front. Wow, so we got one IR, so here we go, guys. This is that deciding factor right now. Let's get into it. Are the sleeve packs the same as a booster box? Well, so we didn't get an ISIR, but we got the Iron Moss. So all of the IRs were in the heavier packs in the sleeved and all the other stuff was in the lighter. I mean, that was a pretty rough batch of sleeved. I don't have much more, so I'm not gonna keep continuing to go with this video. But I mean, right there, 
I wouldn't be as concerned with sleeved, which is which is a good thing. I, I, it's kind of interesting how they can be different. Maybe if I did grab an SIR sleeve pack, it would be a lot heavier, but obviously there weren't any SIRs. So maybe it's still able to weigh those out. So be concerned. Um, I might test those out individually and post something on our Instagram. But officially for sure, guys, be concerned about those booster boxes of Paradox Rift. I literally weighed out the SIR. The heaviest pack had the SIR in it. So again, know, your, know where you're buying. Know, be an informed consumer. Know the TCG player that you're buying packs from. Know the website you're buying packs from. Know the streamer you're buying packs from. Um, they, they can be shady and it's very explainable right there that you can easily host people over. So I know, just making sure you guys are informed. Um, all the all the good stuff, all the good vibes. I'm not teaching you guys how to be shady. Just making sure you're informed. But all right, guys, be careful out there. If you made it to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. Have a great night, weekend, whatever's for you. Peace.